three hours. That was hard work. But let me show you where I am. It's beautiful. And yep, I'm going up there. Uh, so tomorrow I will track up this ridge here, uh, back up up there, and then over the other side of this mountain here. It doesn't look very high, but that's 1,700 meters. I think I'm at 1,300 meters here. And then there's the tarn, and I'm going to set up my tarp beside the tarn. So I've got nice water, beautiful view. I'll come back to you when I'm all set up. Got my uh, got my sight. <laughs> so I've got a three by three meter DD hammock tarp. Um, I've actually never used it properly. Tested at home with a couple of configurations, but that's about it. Good thing about three by three is you can't really make a mistake with it. All I do want to get right is the center line in case I need to do a guy out behind. Uh, so I want to have a little bit of a, a lying down area. So I'm going to fold it back on itself and tie it back like that. Just on the edge of this tussock here. So something like that, and then guy the back out, yeah, that'll work well. Camp is set up. Oh. Man, that was, a, that was a hard slog, it really was. So, as you can see, simple lean-to, but high enough to sit under. I've got tons of room to lay everything out. Um, it's difficult to explain. I mean, a three by three tarp, it's pretty, pretty big. Um, so, even if it was raining, I'd have a lot of room. I've set one side up, this side up, as a, just a shield. Bruce is chasing shadows in the background. I don't know where he is. Um, this time, I got my change of clothes. I forgot. The only thing I forgot last time was my uh, spare trousers. Um, and as it turned out, I was fine. Um, those trousers, when they're wet, those Fuel Raven, they're just awful. Really bad. I mean, they soak it up. Uh, so for sustained wet use, they're absolutely no use whatsoever because they just don't dry out. Um, these things are 100% waterproof, windproof. These are Stony Creek um, Tundra trousers. Very, very tough. Thick Oxford cotton. And I've got a jacket to go with it as well. When you're going up onto the tops, like I'm going to tomorrow, um, then you definitely need them. So what I want to do is, what's the time? The time is quarter to six. Bruce, what are you doing? Come here, come and say hello. <whistles> He's going nuts. Come on, come and say hello, come here. Yeah, you haven't seen camp yet, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah come here, Bruce. Bruce, come here. Come and lie down, lie down, lie down. Because they haven't seen you properly. You've had your dinner. Oh, you're shaking. You've been going up. Oh, you're so excited. He's shaking with just excitement of being up here. I don't know if you can see him. He's, he's being all pathetic now. Right? He's your strokes. He's so excited. Like maybe he saw a deer. I don't know. I don't think there are any deer up here at this time of year, but there could be. I can see a couple of chamois up on the mountain. Uh, I've got such a beautiful view, um, which you saw at the beginning, and 
you will see again. But right now, what I think I'm gonna do is lay all my stuff out. Maybe uh, just give a quick rundown of the gear I've got on this trip and then get ready for dinner. For t dinner tonight, what I thought I would do is chorizo sausage with pasta and cream and curry sauce and a whole hodgepodge on the tranja. And Bruce can't have any of that. He might be able to have a bit of chorizo sausage, but that's about it. But he has had his dinner. Uh, the gear wise, I've um, got all my camera gear, uh, drone, my fuel, my tranja, all the food, I've got my Thermarest x light pad, Neo Air, I've got a solar power bank charger as well. I've also new, I've got this uh, Flextail Gear EPS pump. Now, I've not used it before. Let's see how quickly it blows this up. Okay. I'm not full of confidence here. Okay. Oops. Well, yeah. I think you have to lay the whole thing out. But you do have to hold on to it quite tightly, I think. Let's try again. Oh yeah, that is working. It is working. Well, it's noisy, but it's a lot better than having to blow it up yourself. Wait, hey. All right, I'm impressed. Okay. All right, <laughs> I take it back. I'm impressed. That was so quick. And then you just finish it up yourself, I think. Amazing. Oh, take it back, that was quite quick. So what I will do is use my sit pad, my Thermarest XM under that, and then just to protect it from any puncture possibilities, that sort of thing. And that will go on there. It's not bad. But for now, what I'll do is I'll put it because I'm sitting on that pad, I will put it just at the back here on the back of the tarp. Just hold it in place there. Sleeping bag. All right, you've been waiting for this. So originally, I was gonna bring my enlightened equipment uh, 10 degree Fahrenheit bag, uh, quilt. And then I thought, you know what? Every time, every time I've slept in it, and it might just be me, I've felt a draft. Every time I, and I turn over a lot. So every time you turn over, I feel a draft. Quilts, I, I just don't get on with quilts. So what I got here, which is complete overkill, but tonight it will be minus five degrees centigrade wind chill. And this means I don't need to bring a bivy is my, <laughs> this thing's a beast, Corinthia Survival One Down. 
this thing, so this is survival down 1000, that's it. This is an absolute beast, it really is. So warm, it's treated exterior, it's designed for military use. You enter and exit on the top, big, heavy, thick zippers, um, huge baffle, plus it's got arms, so you can take your arms out. Sleeves, so you don't have to get out your bag in the morning to have your coffee, you stay in your bag. And because it opens at both ends, you can get your feet out, clip it up, and you can actually walk around in it. Unbelievable. So this is the Corinthia Survival Down 1000. There's another product they do that is the Survival One, I think it's called. But that is made from artificial material, whereas this is down. Uh, the advantage of that one is obviously if it gets wet, it still insulates you. This one doesn't because it's down, but just don't get it wet. <laughs> it's much, much lighter than the other one by about, I think it's like a kilo lighter. So there you go, there's my home. Oh, and here is Bruce's bed. That's right, I've lugged his bed all the way up here. And you know what? He will not sleep on it. I just know he won't. Because he's mad and he'll stay out there in the tussocks where he is now. So, have a bit of Gatorade. I might then think about getting dinner on. Look at all the space I've got here. You know, unless it actually rains and rains sideways in like this, full front in, I wouldn't even notice. And even if it did, I'd still be covered under here. So the tarp works really well. And I just, I like being open. I hate being in a tent. I hate being sealed in and not being able to see the view. I like to be open, open my eyes at night and look out and look at the mountains, which is what I'm looking at now. Oh, built up a thirst. Ooh. Now, do I have a coffee first? That's the question. Tell you what, the bugs are out. I might have to put some of my my special stuff on, my DEET. Uh, I've got not as much fuel this time. If you saw my last last uh, video in the rain, I got through a bottle and a half and I was really abusing it to do that. Uh, so this time I've got just a bottle and a half, that's it. No spare. And I've got a full Tranja spirit burner in there as well. Got my cigars, a little adult beverage for later, cooking oil, and I did bring a spork with me this time, <laughs> and a suitable knife, not the, uh, not my monster tops to home knife. Okay, I'm gonna get myself all settled, calm down, I'm gonna take in the view for a while, and I'll come back to you when we're getting dinner ready. Tell you what, temperature's really dropped. I'm starting to feel that now, but that might also just be because I haven't eaten. Um, so I've got my Tranja. Amazing piece of kit. I need two for dinner cook up some chorizo sausages, make some pasta in a creamy curried sauce, and put the whole lot in a trough and feast like a king. I'm gonna go and get the water from the tarn uh, just behind, and uh, uh, actually no, I've gotta cook the chorizos first. So let me get on with that, get the flame going, get it all blooming. Now for this I am going to need the simmering and I'm going to need to cut the sausages up a bit. Got a chopping board this time. Yes, I will need the simmering. And 
this is full. So I use meths, methylated spirits. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of spirit burners, don't get me wrong. I, I, I don't think that they're the best thing there is or whatever. I just, I quite like the Trangia. I like this windproof setup. It uh, doesn't matter how much it's howling, this works. Um, cooks well once it gets going, once, it, once the heat gets, gets up. It's, it's not a bad system. I'm quite happy with it. There's not a lot that can go wrong with it, you know? You can't cook meat and stuff like that on a jet boil. Do you want to use gas? I guess you can use gas, but it's so noisy. And white spirit is really, really noisy. Um, I've got a uh, MSR burner that is just insanely loud, insanely loud. And I tell you what, if you're going to stealth camp, Tranger is the way to go. Can't see the flame. And no one is going to hear you. It's like space. Okay, so chorizo sausage. I've got all sorts of goodies. I won't show you everything though because. Okay, there's my pasta. Penne pasta for tonight. Chorizo sausages. Okay. Got a cool bag with me. Don't think there's a, with this temperature there's any danger of anything happening to them. Going off or anything. Right, so I'm gonna chop these up, put some oil in the pan once it's hot and get sizzling. Okay, treat those on. You see here, I don't know if you can just see that yet. It smells so good. I could have it just like that, but no, I've got to do the whole thing. I'm doing a plain sausage for Bruce. I haven't seen Bruce for about 20 minutes. He's just over there, I can hear him. Just lying in the tussocks. This is all he does, all he wants to do is play. Even if it's chucking down with rain. You know, after the last video, I got a few comments. Uh, oh, I can see my breath. I got a few comments about him. A uh, couple weren't very nice comments. And look, you know, you know your dog, you know? And if you love your dog and you know your dog, then you know when they're okay and when they're not okay. And there's something that good owners know. And if they look after their dogs, they, they trust them, they know them, they know what they like, they know what they don't like. I know what Bruce likes. Sausage is dumb. Okay, time for the water to go on. So yeah, I know what Bruce likes. I know what he wants to do. And I, he, he doesn't care, honestly, if it's raining, snowing, sunny. He wants to do the same thing, and that's go out and play. Uh, we have a gym at home, and if one of us is in there, uh, myself or my wife, and who I'm sure you'll see on one of these videos, it can be pounding down with rain outside. And rather than lie under the awning, he will go and lie in it, in the grass, for hours. He doesn't care. And he doesn't get cold. He just doesn't feel it. Uh, I've done a video, uh, you'll have to look for it, 
on in the snow. Um, we stayed in the tarp. Honestly, he just, he wouldn't lie in a sleeping bag or anything. He just loves being outside and he just doesn't feel that cold. Second I open the tent door, he's out there and I don't see him again. He's out playing in the snow. And I can hear him, he, he's, he's, he's about 15 meters over there. And this is all he does. He likes hiding, tucking down, ready to pounce. He plays this game with shadows and with the sunlight and stuff like that. And when it's raining, he, uh, it, it's almost like he, it gives him an edge. It gives him uh, a, an invisibility cloak because of the noise of the rain. And so he can, in this game that he's playing, he can stalk up on anything. And that's why he does it. And he doesn't feel the cold. He's, you know, if he was cold, he wouldn't do it. If he was cold, he'd go into the tent, into the vestibule and curl up and get out of the rain. But he doesn't. Um, and some people say, oh, it must be the, the noise on the top of the rain. That's what he doesn't like. That's why he stays out there. Well, then, if that's why, then why doesn't he come back under the top when it stops raining and he's soaking wet? He still doesn't. He'll stay out there. So there's nothing to do with that. So look, trust me, I know my dog. He's nine years old. I've taken him out camping so many times now and we've been with him in all sorts of conditions and he's a water dog. He just loves water. He will jump into an icy cold river and swim for ages. He just does. It's what he loves. So, you know, thank you for concerns for him, but this is what he wants to do. He's an outdoors dog. He doesn't live in the house, okay? He is a purebred working dog border collie, built, genetically built to work in the highlands of Scotland. They don't even use border collies here for sheep dogs uh, in New Zealand because uh, it's not cold enough here and they overheat. So, you know, you know your dog. So let's not bring that up again, okay? Because it's pointless. Right, I've got the water on uh, for the pasta. I've got too much pasta. I couldn't possibly eat all that. It'll just be gluttonous. I'll just do half of it. Um, with pasta, yeah, you know what? I need, I need to get lots of little containers to put things in. I know, it's not great using these sandwich bags. I will do something about that. Your Honor. Salty water for pasta. Oh yes, salty water. Has to be really salty. And then you don't need to season your pasta dish with salt. Just pepper, which is why they come up to you and say, do you want pepper? Because they've already cooked the pasta in salty water. Right, so as soon as that's boiling, simmering, I'll get the pasta on. Then when that's ready, um, drain most of the water out, add the cream. And, oh no, I've got a horrible feeling I've forgotten the curry powder. Oh no, I haven't, I know where it is. Uh, add the curry powder, uh, add the treat, so mix it all in. I know it's a really weird mix, but trust me. Oh my God, it's gonna taste so good. And then, uh, you know what, I'll come back to you when I'm getting ready to eat it. On a mountain with my dog and that. I don't know if that looks any good. Oh my God, there's so much. What have I done? I'm gonna be stuffed. And he can't have any of this. All right, let's see how it is. very hot but it's delicious but it's gonna be so filling there's no way I'm gonna finish all this I'm gonna to have to put it in a Ziploc bag luckily I have some Ziploc, ba Ziploc bags oh my god I'm gonna be roasting after this Okay. 
It's very good. Okay, I'm going to um, tuck into this. I might find a more comfy place to go and sit in the tussocks. Finish it. And then come back to you. It might be dark by the time I come back to you. <sighs> Had my dinner. Just cleaning up pots and pans. He's, I've put him on the lead now because, because I want to keep an eye on him when it gets dark. You know, if I was to lose him out here, where I've camped before, it's okay. But here there's lots of drop-offs and things like that and I'd never find him if something happened to him. So he's had a great time. He's had lots of play. He's got everything stuck in his tail you can possibly imagine. Um, but he's on his lead now, and he's on his bed. And even though he's going to try and sneak off, once he feels the lead pull on him, he'll realise and he'll give up. Won't you? Hmm? You're going to give up? Yeah, because once it's once it's dark, then I wouldn't be able to find him. Even with this high vis reflective thing on, I wouldn't know where he was. And unless he barks, I would never find him. I don't want to lose him. So cleaning up pots and pans. He's going. He's walking off. He's going off to play in the sun. And then the lead's going to kick in. Oh, he's just realized he's on the lead. You can wag your tail all you want, Bruce. What do you want me to do? He's giving me the, the guilty, he's giving me the evil eye. <laughs> now he knows he's on the lead. Let's see what he ends up doing. Can't go that way either. Because the lead. Oh, I'm not taking the lead off. And now he's going to knock the camera over with his tail. <laughs> Have I lost focus? Hello? <laughs> it's a nightmare. Let me get the focus back. Hang on. <laughs> there he goes. He's a nightmare. Oh dear. He's trying again. He's still going for it. <laughs> but he can't get anywhere. So he's going to have to give up eventually. He doesn't understand. Oh, that's it. So he's laid down as far away as possible for the full length of the lead in the grass. It's just his thing. It's just what he does. Probably gonna get a bunch of comments out saying, ooh, so cruel. Um, but you don't have to deal with the consequences. It's a beautiful evening. Um, I might have to turn the camera around and just let you listen to the, to the peace and quiet that this is. Nothing. That's the beauty of here. No planes go overhead. The nearest road is, oh my god, miles away. We are in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I'm gonna have my hot chocolate. Come back with a uh, with a cigar and some rum. Wind direction has changed. That's what I thought it was going to do. It's swirling a lot. Now it's coming in a bit. So this is now going to act like a sail. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, here comes the wind. Could be a rough night. Might need earplugs tonight.
And this is why I bought a sleeping bag, not a quilt. When it's really windy, I, I just don't see how a quilt works. It doesn't, you can't store any of that heat. Quilts don't usually come with baffles. Fine in a tent. Uh, or if you've got a really good bivy bag to put over the top of it. But then if you're gonna do all of that, just get yourself a proper military sleeping bag that, or a treated sleeping bag that you can sleep outside with. All right, I'm gonna watch the last of the light fade and uh, I'll come back to you later from, probably from the sleeping bag. So I'm all tucked in, have my cigar and whiskey. Um, temperature's really dropped. So I'm in my sleeping bag. I'm gonna be adjusting and correcting all night, I think, because of the slope that I'm on. Uh, I'm gonna watch a movie, hunker down for the night. I don't know where Bruce is. He's out playing. I let him go for a bit. I can hear him. And I keep getting him to come back. Um, when he's ready, he's going to come back and he'll lie on his bed. He'll nuzzle up with me, but it's usually pretty late when he does that. All right, so I will uh, catch you in the morning. The temperature has really dropped. <laughs> it's really cold. As you see, I've got beanie on now. I've got neck buff on. Um, the temperature's really dropped. I can feel it. And the breeze has picked up. But it's not bad. It's a clear sky. Lots of stars out. Um, so yeah, that's why it's so cold. But I'll be toasty. I am toasty in the sleeping bag. Obviously, this this is designed for uh, comfort down to minus twenty. <laughs> minus twenty is, is colder than it would ever get here. Okay, I will catch you in the morning. Morning. It's I think it's just about eight o'clock. And the sun's just come up and has burnt off all the fog. It was so foggy just five minutes ago. Let me show you the sun here. My sunrise. I don't know if you're picking that up. Oh, Brucey hasn't been in his bed all night. He just didn't want to get in it. He's been lying out in the tussocks all night. Now he's out there playing, barking at shadows. Sleeping bag was great. Everything is a bit wet. The underneath of the tarp is soaking. So I'm glad I've got this water resistant sleeping bag. Unfortunately, the sleeping pad is absolute rubbish. <laughs> Just kept sliding out from under me. That X light, it, I. I've struggled with it so much. I think that's the last time I can bother with it, the Thermarest X Lite. It just, it's just too light, the material is too slippery. It just pops out from underneath you, it's just rubbish. I've never had that problem with the X Therm. Uh, so I'm gonna switch back to that, even though it's a little bit heavier. Yeah, I was toasty warm in the bag. Uh, that all worked well. Yeah, other than my rubbish sleeping pad, I had a pretty good night's sleep. My trusty Thermarest X, like, uh, what do you call them? Normal foam closed cell pad. That did the trick. Didn't slip, didn't move. So that was lovely. Very comfy. Um, it must have got pretty cold out there because my watch has died to death. Oh, that sun is nice. This is going to be a lovely morning. Yeah, it's eight o'clock. Just turned eight. It got pretty cold at one point last night. Uh, well, for me, I should say. Uh, Bruce, it obviously didn't affect him at all. It's, oh, it's two degrees. Oh, well that explains it now. With me holding it, it's two degrees. So, plan is coffee. And to say good morning to Bruce, I haven't said good morning to him yet. He's just gone straight into play mode. And he's just loved it. Every time I checked on him, middle of the night, he was just lying down in the tussocks. Just watching, 
he was asleep, but I can see where it's bedded down. Right in the thick of the tussock grass. He's created a little bed for himself, a natural bed, and just ignored his actual bed. <sighs> Why do I bother? Why do I bother lugging it up here for him? Um, right. Coffee is the most important thing. Oh, that sun's so bright. But what a beautiful morning. Maybe I'll leave you just looking at the sunrise for a bit. Bruce is having his breakfast. Thought I'd just show you the mist in the background. But look who's over there. Not moving. Secretly. You just see his head. Can you see him? Oh my god, could he have more fun if he tried? Oh! Hey! Are you having fun? And then where we slept last night, see I've broken down the camp, just taken the tarp off. So even though I had a bed for him here, he slept in there. Can you make that out? Just in there, all bedded down, nice and cozy, in the tussocks, on the long grass. Why well, use one of those crappy Artificial beds when you can have the real thing. When it's so quiet, there's no one around. It's so easy just to get lost in your thoughts. Beautiful. is doing his shadow chasing thing. Oh. Uh oh. He's seen me. Bruce, you ready? Go, 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 go. <laughs> I can't even track him. He's gone so fast. He's, he's gone. <laughs> he's barking. 
Bruce, where are we? Are you having fun? What a morning. I've hiked up to the top of the ridge that I tent tented down the, by, by the tarn. Oh, I can barely speak. Just to give you a bit of a panorama. Absolutely spectacular. And we're, we're just down here under the bottom there. So today we're going to go up this ridge here um, and then it's a slog all the way up here, zigzag and then up the top. Wish me luck. Ready? Go on then, go, 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 go! Oh. <laughs> Bruce cooling off in the tarn. You gonna shake? Excellent. It's better now you can really see. There's Brucey on the track, telling me to get on, move on. It's a long, hot, hard climb up there. It's gonna take me quite a while. Brucey's coming to check out what's going on. What's the delay, Dad? Come on, I want to get a move on. How you doing, Brucey? You happy? Are you happy if you've got a move on? All right, let's get cracking. Oh, sort of halfway up. Pretty steep bit there. Brutal. He's having a great time. He's so fit. He just, he's the energizer bunny. Quite the Martian landscape. That is a long, long drop down there. You gotta see this. Oh, look who's king of the castle up there again. So we're now at 1700 meters. One last push up and a look over this ridge. And you'll see, apart from doing this all for you guys, why I come up here. Check that out. on the track. He already knows where we're going. Top of the world. Check this out. I was about to say, look at this beautiful, crystal clear, lovely water. And then who has to get in it with his bag on? You want to go for a swim? Come here, Brucey. Come here. Up. Come here. Let's take your bag off first. Ready? Go. <laughs> this is the spot anyway. Oh, thanks, Bruce. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot, isn't it, Bruce? It certainly is. Okay, so what I need to do, find a suitable spot to put the tarp. And then get it set up and come back to you for some lunch.
coffee time. Hopefully the wind isn't um, interfering too much. Hopefully you can hear me. It's a bit of a breeze. It's died off now. It's so hot in the sun. It's scorching. But I know that as soon as the sun goes down or if it gets cloudy, it's going to be freezing cold. So for lunch, I'm doing Savloys. And Savloys with hot dog buns. A Kiwi classic. Cheers. Bruce is herring around as, uh, as you can see now. He's darting back and forth, having a great time. All right, so I can hear my Savloy starting to um, start to boil. I'm gonna cook these up and uh, come back for some lunch. Hot. Mm. so hungry. Coming up the ridge, my stomach was rumbling like crazy. Mm. Could have done with some butter. Oh well. We used to lug Savaloys up here. Um, I come up here with my nephews, uh, Luke and Kieran. Luke would bring up a massive pack of Savaloys. It's absolutely insane. But they are easy to cook up here and for meat and it's just boiling water you know to get meat when you just have to boil it like hot dogs it's great and I do know I'm leaving myself open to some piss taking I'm eating these particularly from Dave in London. I know. Bring it on, Dave. I know the jokes. I know what they're going to be. Right, I'm going to chow these down. Give Bruce his. Get some camp jobs done. And come back to you later. Good. Boy, come on, you're swimming. Here, no Bruce, here, come on. Here, down here, what's this? Okay, ready? Come, 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 come. Go, 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 go. Oh. <laughs> ready, go. <laughs> now he's swimming. Good boy. Go on, no, 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 go away, away, away. Away, Bruce. Oh, he's desperate to come to me. Away, go on, away. Go, go, go. Go on, Bruce. Go, go, go. Go on, Brucey. Go on. You're making such a mess. Oh. swim. Ready? Oh, <laughs> you didn't wait for one, two, three. Come on then. You going for a swim?
my brain first spin? Do I have to trigger you? Ready? Are you ready? Steady? Go on then, Brie. No? Okay. Too late because I shut the camera off and then he goes and does a jump. Ready? Go! <laughs> Great time, aren't you? Ooh, windy. Ready? Go, 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 go. No, that's it. All right. The tarn that I'm camped out next to uh, drains off and feeds the whole basin. All the tarns down there. And it's a little waterfall just here. I'll show you what it looks like now. Anyway, it was clogged with some seaweed. And it's amazing how it had backed up. So I just cleared the seaweed out of the way and look at it now. Flowing, proper waterfall. And that feeds and flows all the way down to the main river. And the tarn is spring fed from pressure, pushing the water up. It's, it's <laughs> I don't fully understand the uh, phenomena. Maybe someone on the comments can explain how that happens. Um, but some, something to do with pressure feeding the tarn up here. But it is just the most beautiful spot. It's time to get on with dinner. Before that sun completely goes down. It's cold. Out of the sun. It's about six degrees centigrade out of the sun. It's gonna get very cold tonight. So dinner, I'm gonna do uh, burgers. Do you reckon Bruce got a burger? Do you want a burger? Hey? Do you want a burger? Do you want something to eat? You don't have to have a burger, you can carry on going and playing. Hey? Oh, you come for, oh. I was about to say, he's come for some strokes. It's the first time today. <laughs> he's just playing constantly. But he does come for food. Uh, burger? Dinner? Do you want some dinner? You've had your dinner, but you can have a burger. It's a very nice sound. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think it's time for Bruce to have his. Bit of burger. Bruce, you want some burger? What's this? What's this? Oh, it's going in your bowl. Oh, you've come over now. I'm your friend now, am I? Am I your friend now? Oh, what is this? Is that for you? Wait, sit, sit. I know, it's spiky grass, isn't it? Okay, you just have to wait. You don't have to sit down, because I know it is spiky. Just wait. And then you can have yours in a second. It's not ideal hot dog buns, but they'll make do. You've been a very good boy. Go on then. <laughs> he can't get his teeth into it. So I'm gonna to have to tip it out for him. Hang on, Bruce. Yeah. Wait. Wait. He's gonna devour this in two seconds. 
That's it, whole burger gone. Did you time that? You should play it back and time it. It's the sun going down on the horizon. So beautiful. Just about to pop down. And then behind me, Bruce, you're having a good time. So, gonna have my rum, finish the cigar, might watch a movie and then come back to you in the sleeping bag when I'm ready for bed. Cheers, thanks for coming along today. It's been a beautiful day, a stunning day. And I'm so thankful to have these opportunities to come out here. And I just hope you enjoy coming along for the ride. That's all. Anyway, cheers. Oh, all tucked up. Not sure what time it is, but it's cold. It's really cold out there, but it's nice. I've got the whole tarp over the top. And I've just been chilling out watching a movie. Uh, I'm gonna finish the movie, I'm all tucked up. Uh, it's been a long day, a hard, long, hard day. Bruce is out there somewhere in the tussock. I, I, can, I can see him. He's curled up, nestled down in the tussock. He doesn't want to come under the tarp. He's very happy over there. Right, great day. Um, I'll see you all in the morning. I'm not sure what time, but the sun will come up right in front of me and just beam straight in, so that'll definitely wake me up. Lots of stars out. It is a stunning evening. Oh, I'm gonna sleep well, hopefully, tonight. See you in the morning. Night. It's a bright situation. It's 1.30 in the morning. The wind is howling. Um, and what's happening is all the condensation, all the dew is dripping, blowing onto me. I don't know if you can make that out. It's a good job. I got a waterproof sleeping bag. Look, everything, everything's getting soaked. And that's what's happening. All that condensation and dew is dripping off the tarp. It would be fine if there was no wind, but it's flicking it. And yeah, Bruce is probably drier than I am. He's over there. You can just see his eyes. He's lying down in the tussock. He, he, <laughs> and he wasn't under here anyway, but yeah. There's a lot of wind coming from behind the tarp, so it's working perfectly. It's just this bit here is flapping. Oh, there goes Bruce, he's playing in the light. Yeah, so this overhang that was meant to keep me even more dry is actually making me even more wet. So, I'm not going to get much sleep while this is going on. I am dry in the sleeping bag, but it is wet on the outside. I'm not picking that. Also, it's getting really foggy. 
<laughs> so it's just doubling down on the moisture. Nightmare. Maybe I should put earplugs in. Oh, I'm going to try and get back to sleep. I'll come back to you if anything, anything else major happens. Otherwise, I'll see you in the morning. All right. Okay. I, I didn't put up with that. I fixed it. I changed it. The configuration. So. No more splashing around. Everything contained. This comes down to a point here. And then up to here so any water drips off the end there so far so good oh bruce come on <laughs> he's out there look bruce come here come on here <laughs> why won't you go to bed oh you're drier than i am wait leave that there's nothing in there oh he's the energizer bunny he just <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go back to sleep. Wish me luck. Morning. Oh, that was a rough night. I had to adjust the top and, oh. <laughs> it's really cold. The wind chill, oh my God. So it's, the temperature is about minus two. But with the wind chill, it's more like minus 10. Brucey didn't snuggle up at all. Where are you, Bruce? He came and said good morning to me. He's out playing somewhere. I don't know where he is or if you can see him out there. But he was curled up in the tussocks and then he's gone straight off to play. He played a few times last night. Oh, right, I'm gonna get back in the sleeping bag. Oh my God, it's cold. Wait for the sun to come up. Not far off, I hope. Okay, catch you later. Morning. You've got a very frosty, happy bunny here. Morning, Brucey. Morning. Oh, you've got a warm tummy. Warm tummy. Oh, you've been curled up, haven't you? Oh, what a night. That was brutal. Thank God, I'm... <laughs> Oh, Brucey, I know, I know, I love you too. I know, I know, I know. You want your breakfast, don't you? Mm. You'd stop kissing me and everything if you could have your breakfast right now, wouldn't you? This is a normal morning ritual with us. Bruce, you're lying on all my stuff. You're lying on everything, aren't you? Yeah? I, know. I know, thank you, thank you. I love you too, I do. Can you please not put your wet feet in my sleeping bag? <laughs> Oh no, you're gonna knock all the pans over. Oh, Brucey. Oh, what a night. Honestly. Okay, Brucey, enough. Go on, go away, go away, go away, go and play, go and play. <laughs> go and play. Oh my god, it was cold last night. But I was toasty. Oh, in fact, I was too hot in the sleeping bag. Now, this is what I was talking about with the sleeves. Let me just move this this way a bit. You see? these holes in the side so you can take your arms out so I only just did that because you wouldn't leave your arms out because there's no insulation in this but it does give you some dexterity oh what's the temperature right now oh it's zero or something one some ice some on my sleeping bag um, yeah just the dew oh and here comes the Sun Hallelujah. The dew was on the tarp and the rain was flick uh, the wind was flicking it. Oh, it was just awful. I was getting soaked. Bone dry now. But it was pretty bad. Check this out. <laughs> All right. I better get up. It's cold though. I don't want to get out of this lovely sleeping bag but Bruce wants his breakfast and I need my breakfast I need a hot cup of coffee so I'm gonna layer up it's a really up. cold morning and it's had a long cold night Hang on. wait where's the boat there you go and 
I need to get a coffee on. So last, last night was um, <laughs> a bit of a nightmare. It was great until I think it was 1.30. And I suddenly, I, I woke up, I could hear the tent, the, the tarp flapping. And then I felt a raindrop on my face. I thought, what's going on? So. This went on a, a little bit and it was getting more and more drops. So what was happening was the lip that I'd created at the front of the tarp had dew all underneath it, condensation. Then the wind coming from behind was causing it to flap and it was flapping all of that dew down on top of me. Ah, oh, anyway, I thought, oh, I'll try and put up with it. <laughs> but that lasted five minutes and I just couldn't do it. So I had to get up. Uh, I had to, I peeled back two corners of it, tied those back, and then the front bit that was still there, I tied that right down. Fixed it straight away. No more flapping. I wasn't as covered, but it was then that I noticed all the stars. It was just stunning, because I was more open. Um, in terms of the gear, yeah, Thermarest X-Lite, just Neoair X-Lite. I just can't get to grips with it. That material just slips like crazy. It's, if you're on a completely flat surface in ideal conditions in a tent or something like that, that's absolutely flat. And uh, let's be honest, you're pretty small, then it won't be a problem. But anything other than that, and it's gonna wanna move, it's gonna wanna go, it's gonna wanna follow gravity. It's got no staying power at all. Whereas it's big brother, the X Therm, that doesn't have the same problem. So I don't know what they've done. I don't know what the difference is in the material, but uh, I am now officially giving up on that product. It's, it's a waste of time. I'm going back to the X Therm. I'm gonna sell the X Light. Uh, I'm gonna get another one of these Z Light, Thermarest Z Light pads, because they are brilliant. And this is old now and it's losing its, losing its uh, lofting. It's got a couple of holes in it because I abuse it, but you can abuse these. They're brilliant. You should probably always carry one of these just in case, because uh, if you get a puncture or something, you don't want to have to deal with repairs in the middle of the night on, on a pad, whereas this thing, you won't ever have that problem. And it saved me on this trip. This saved me, I mean, I didn't have to sleep on the ground. These survival 1000 down sleeping bag, look, it's a military bag, it's not, you know, it's got Velcro everywhere. Um, it's, it's heavy. It's made of thick materials, but it's what you want out here. I've got enlightened equipment quilts um, that just uh, wouldn't really work here. Even with a bivy, they'd be drenched and then that's it, they're soaked. This thing got absolutely soaked on the outside. I mean, it was drenched and I was bone dry inside and it's now bone dry. It, it just totally dry. So it's a brilliant bag, Corinthia. I think in America, they're Eberly stock. It's just rebrand, but it's Corinthia, made in, I don't know, Estonia, I think it is. But uh, I think they originally designed them for the Austrian army. So I'd recommend any of those Corinthia sleeping bags. They're, they're military bags. Um, they do all seasons. This one is is the survival uh, 1000 down and um, it's designed for comfort down to minus 20 
and I needed it last night because of the wind, because of the wind chill, you need to be hunkered down, you do feel it. I did get a bit hot, but better to be hot than cold. And yeah, Bruce's bed, what a waste of time bringing that up. He, I found two beds over there that he's made in the tussocks. So even though it was like minus whatever it was, 10 wind chill, he couldn't feel it. He was so hunkered down in the tussock, curled up. I had the bed ready for him right next to me, but no, wasn't interested. He likes to be out under the stars, in the tussocks. It just feels natural to him, and he loves that. It's what he does at home. So up here, it's just brilliant for him. Uh, and the rest of the gear, the Stony Creek, I'm glad I bought my top stuff, my Stony Creek stuff. Uh, this is the um, Tundra, Tundra jacket, and these are the Tundra pants. Uh, these are so solid, and they're 100% waterproof and windproof. Unlike those Fjord Raven uh, pants, which weigh more than these, um, they're, they're part cotton, and they got drenched on my last trip even though I waterproofed them and everything. Once they get wet, they weigh a ton and they do not dry. They take so long to dry. These things, you know you're gonna be okay. It's made of a really, really thick, rugged Oxford nylon, and so is the jacket. So they're bulletproof. Uh, so I'd recommend those Stony Creek. And the trusty Tranger. What can I say? It's uh, been superb having that here. Uh, nice and quiet to cook on is probably the biggest pro. The second biggest pro is it's windproof. And uh, the third, it's quiet. Did I say that? It, the, the quiet thing makes a huge difference. It's horrible sitting around camp when everyone's got gas burners going. And it's so loud and you can't hear yourself think. And you feel like you're on a, how do I put this without sounding like a snob? You feel like you're on a camping trip. Do you know what I mean? Not hiking in the wilderness or soloing a camping trip and I use butane honestly it's you know jet boil if, if all you've got to do is water there's nothing faster than a jet boil I use the MSR uh, wind burner it's so fast but uh, you know it's quite heavy okay the trench is quite heavy but um, when you're up here you want to feel the ambience you know a bit of the romance of the wild camping and the Trangia adds to that it feels raw cooking on it even boiling water with your little kettle come on look at that that's not jet boil or MSR that's Trangia that's traditional and it just feels nice keeps your water hot thoroughly recommend it and it's windproof, which is, you know, a huge, a huge plus point. I bought too much food. I always bring too much food. I usually plan for days plus one, one full day and night, uh, including Bruce's dog food as well. So, I think I bought enough for four nights <laughs> instead of two. So always bring too much food. I don't know. It's a curse of mine, lugging it up here. Other than that, everything's been fantastic. This camera has worked in freezing. It's, it's been freezing and it's got wet and it's worked perfectly. It's the Sony Alpha 6600. It's been superb. I don't know about the microphone. I don't know how much of this is going to have wind noise. It's the Rode, one of those Rode video micro microphones and the drone the DJI Mini 2 superb so tiny I mean it's a shame that the remote control is quite big but the actual drone itself is so tiny and it's so light what is it 249 grams and you know you've seen the foot you've seen the footage it's it does a reasonable job considering right on that note I'm going to stop yapping. I'm going to have another couple of coffees. Enjoy this sunshine. And uh, contemplate breakfast. Bacon and egg. Have a good morning.
come back to you when we're uh, ready to eat. Come around, come around here. What's in there? Wait, do you want that? Go on then, good boy. My turn as well. It's actually 11.30, so it's like lunchtime, really. Mm. This is living the life. It really is. Look at this. Bacon and egg. At 1700 meters with my dog with that view seriously tell me what's better than this Isotonic drink. Always bring isotonic tablets with you or powder because you sweat so much climbing up here and I've got a long walk out, four hours out. Oh yeah. So Bruce says thanks. He's had a great time, bacon and egg, everything else, lots of swimming, lots of fun. Now we've got to get back. I'm going to let him run off. Thanks for coming along. It's been a great trip, all packed up. Everything was special. Um, I've got a long hike home now. I might take some footage because I've got to go down through the clouds. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll do more of them if, if more people subscribe. So on that note, oh, the hawk's gone. On that note, till next time, unless you see me walking down now through the cloud. Till next time, thanks. So we're just about to leave and where we're walking, the clouds have actually just come up. So I've got to cut down through that. I don't know what this is gonna be like, but I'll let you know when I get there. <laughs> Bruce is growling. He hates hates the cans. Don't ya? Come on then. Go on, Bruce. Down here. Hey. Come on. So. <laughs> Come on. I think he's a bit nervous about coming down into this mist. But you gotta do what you gotta do to get home. And it is thick and soupy. Isn't it, Brucey? So here's what we've got to navigate. Honestly, <laughs> I wonder if Mars looks like this.
check it out. The other side of the, the basin, so different to what I just came from. The inversion, it's amazing. It's just wafting up here and then burning off when it gets up here to the basin I was in. Okay, I'm gonna get cracking. Ooh, finally broken down below the cloud. That took about half an hour. 